Hello and welcome to the how to upload to Printful automatically video. This is interesting for everyone who wants to own his own shop or be more, be more specific for Amazon, for eBay, for Etsy or for Shopify. In our example, we will show it with Etsy, but don't worry, no matter if you upload to the Amazon seller account, to eBay or Shopify, the settings are just a bit different in the details. And from the how to make a template till the finished upload, it's more or less exactly the same process. But we go to this a little later. Now I'll show you how an upload on Printful should look like. You've connected the store you wanna upload to through Printful. Then you click here on add product and here you can choose the item you want to use or what you can also do, we go to this also in a moment, you can use your own product templates. For example, in this case, a black t-shirt. Then you can uh, select here the colors if you want to and also the sizes and of course also edit the print file. Don't forget to remove the old one and then you can choose your file here or also drag and drop the new design. This takes a moment and when this is done, you can proceed to the mockups. And then you choose here what mockup you wanna use. And of course you can also use for example here the black one and it is possible to add additional mockups where you can simply click on it and then it will add here also the other mockups. When you have chosen your mockups, you can proceed to the details where you enter your title, your description and so on. And then you go to the pricing where you enter your retail price and then you click on submit to store and it will, yeah, be in your Etsy account in this example. And this is how a normal Printful upload should look like and how you can automate it with Flying Upload. I show you now. Before we begin with the configuration in Flying Upload, I show you first how you can create a product template on Printful that you can later use in flying for your new uploads. So you're still logged in into your Printful account and you go to product templates and then you click here on create more product templates. Then of course you choose here the product you wanna have. In my case, I wanna have the same product. I just wanna make a template for white shirts in this case. So here I select then the white color and maybe also this one. So I have two different um, bright variations. And then I drop and drag and drop a design here. This is important because if Flying Upload uses later your template, it will use the same position like the design in your product template. So um, yeah, make an upload here, then place it the way you wanna have it. And then if this is okay, then you can click here continue. By the way, this is normal um, Amazon print on demand format. So 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. Then you click here on continue. And then all you have to do here is simply name the product or the template like you want it. And in this case, it's for t-shirt or this is my white t-shirt template then save the product template and yeah this is basically everything you have to do now your template is created and now it can be configured in flying upload the first two steps for a successful upload with flying are always the same you need at least one design with a finished listing that is ready to upload of course it can be also more the second thing is options settings auto login and in this case it's printful you enter here your mail and your password 
Also again, your password is just locally on your PC and also encrypted. So it is as safe as possible. And then we go now to the third point, to the individual one for templates and printful. First of all, you have to choose here the platform or platforms you want to upload to. In our case, it's Etsy. So we uncheck this deactivate box and now this would be ready to upload. Then you click on Etsy and then you start here with the configuration. Don't worry, it looks much, but it is, to be honest, really easy. First thing, you enter here your store. You go back to Printful and then you go to your stores and then you just enter here the name of the store you want to use. In our case, it's Print with Heart. Second step, we add a template. We just did a moment ago go or I showed you a moment ago. You click here on add and I would recommend here to name it simply as the printful template. So in this case it's the black t-shirt template we want to use and then click OK and then we start here with the configuration from printful. You go here to a product we just basically do a manual upload again and enter the data and you go then here to my product templates and then you enter here the name of your printful template you want to use. So in this case, the black t-shirt template. The next one is the mockup style we need. You click on your template, then you simply can here proceed to mockups. And then you select here your main mockup, what suits you best, for example, this one. And then you choose here which one you want to have. For example, I want to have this one, the black and flat one. So in the first line for the mockup style, we add now black. And for the mockup image, we simply add what is below, in this case, flat. And yeah, this is how the configuration is done. And if you wanna, you can also add additional images. These are here. And then you enter here simply the number, which one you wanna have. For example, I wanna have the second one, so one, two, and I wanna have the four, five, six, seven, eight, the ninth one. And then you simply enter two and nine two and nine separated by comma and this is also done and then here you can do it yourself the product name you want to have in this case it is a t-shirt and yeah we want to add it to the title and as a fixed price we want to have for example 90.99 and then you can yeah, add here also the measure it's okay you can have free shipping if you want to have and what is important here also the language you want to use. We have English listings, so we also choose English here. And then we have one last big point, and this is the exclude. This is from Printful everything, all the data that is needed, and this exclude section is from Flying Upload. I show you now. So I click OK one time and also save that I'm back here and then I open it again, print full. I just want to show you so you can see and also Etsy. And here is our black t-shirt template. And now what you can do here is you can exclude things. For example, this is a black t-shirt. So it has a back, back, black background. And what I don't want to have is white in this case because if I tag a design now here for white it won't be uploaded it won't will be ignored by this template so only the ones who are really tagged with the color black are uploaded I show you so I click here OK I click here save and then I add for example here two other designs this one I tag for black, the next one I tag for white, and this one is for black again. And this would simply mean, because I excluded the white one, this will be uploaded, this will be ignored and won't be uploaded, and this is 
black again so this will be uploaded again and this makes it possible to have several templates at once that can be used for example i can do this one again for the white one we created a moment ago so this is my white t-shirt template it had the also the name white t-shirt template on printful the mock-up style is exactly the same i want to have exactly the same just in this case of course i want to have white and not black and as additional images i also took the two and the nine because it's the same product so it also has the same additional images and it's a t-shirt again and we want to add it to title our fixed price and this is also like it should be and here in this case because in the, here i show you again here it is white what we exclude because we have a black one and on the white one we exclude in this case black so we just want to have the designs that are really edited also for white and not for black and this would mean if we now click ok and we save that all designs here get uploaded this one on the black template obviously this one on the white template we created a second ago and this one again on the black template you also have here the possibilities to deactivate every time you want for example if you just want to have um, black shirts in your store then you can simply go here to this template click deactivate ok and then it will only take this one and only upload also these two designs because these are tagged for black and i hope you get the concept because this makes possible that you upload all your designs exactly to the templates that you want because you can predefine everything here with these exclude settings so if you have 100 designs here 60 black and 44 white uh, t-shirts it doesn't matter if your templates are configured like that it will exactly upload how you want to so the black configurations on black ones and the white configurations on white ones and yeah this is possible through this unique um, template profile we have here in flying upload and this is also yeah should help you to make it easy and fast when you've configured your templates once this is uh, the whole configuration you've done everything and now we can upload and now the final step in the process the upload you go here to the upload section and then you start here your printful upload like you probably already know it our chromium browser will open and then the printful page will also open and here it often happens that a capture appears but no worry flying will open here a small window and then also pass the capture and then also the big one will be yeah updated and then you will also see the login page there the small one after that you can simply close and then flying will log in after the login happened the automatic upload will start so it will select the store you configured in your settings then in the next step select the product template in this case we upload the black t-shirt template so it will select this one and then simply run through the upload process so replace your old image from the template with the new one you want to upload This may take a moment because Printful has also to process it 
and when this is done and it is replaced it will proceed to the mockups And then also, like you've configured it, it will run through the mockups till it finds the one you want to have. So in this case, we want to have this one and the black variation. And of course, we also added an additional mockups. So first it will preload all the additional mockups because otherwise it is possible that they yeah, can't be found. And then I think we selected the second and the ninth one and here it will also select these two then enter your listing enter the description then of course also the keywords you have and then also the retail price and then it will submit it to the store and then it will push it to your Etsy, Amazon, Shopify or whatever store and yeah this is how the upload looked like and it was successful and if you follow this then it should also look like this for you. And we are here now at the optional part the potential errors. And the potential errors are most of the times simply a wrong template or um, yeah, a screen that is too small. On Printful it is a bit different. Of course you have much to configure so many things can go wrong. For example if you add a wrong template that is not there on Printful or a wrong mockup style or image or you add a price that is not valid so you know there are several parts that can have an error. So I um, simply want to say to you here is everything is shown in the part before in the settings part we show you everything on the website um, where it is written and how to enter and yeah simply make it like that and if you encounter somewhere an error here for example um, flying stand still at the at the printful template page because it, it simply can't find your product template then yeah watch it again and make sure that really the printful template name also exists in your printful product templates and before I show everything um, yeah it's it's relatively clear um, if something is not there of course it cannot be used and um, the uploader will probably stand still or simply close and open again. Um, the errors that could happen and are not so obvious are um, what I mentioned uh, a second ago is if the screen size is too small. So um, if flying uploads with this screen size at least this is the minimum size that is recommended. If you make it full screen it's much better because then um, yeah, clicks uh, don't get interrupted so easy um, yeah, or something similar. So the minimum size at least and even better is if you make it full screen. Of course again you can uh, let it run in the background so you can work here and yeah, write a listing or whatever and this uploads in the background but don't minimize it. So background upload is okay, minimization is not okay because then FU can't sim simply click. Um, other things that could go wrong. It is possible that when this site opens from Printful that they have here a lot of red bars with I think it's a 504 error so you will recognize it when you have it it's like here a lot of, of red bars and yeah, always the same uh, and the message says something like um, yeah contact please printful this is just a cache error from printful from the browser whatever and you can solve it easily simply close the printful upload and click here on the top on fix and 
this is all you have to do and then the cache resets of the chromium that opens and you can uh, upload again and start the printful upload again and it yeah has a cached or the browser cache is empty so it will log in again and then the um, message should be gone if it is not gone simply do the same process again but it after one or two times it will work again because it's simply a cache problem and then we have one last thing i wanted to show you that i recognized that could happen if you are at the end of the upload process i jump to it at the pricing page and you set a revenue it is possible when you have here the minimum size it is possible that this set revenue here especially this one here is uh, yeah in in the background and is not clickable because it opens here the bar and then here are like the safe push settings and then it is possible that flying can't click it this only happens when you set the revenue if you have a fixed profit uh, it, it does not happen um, simple solution make it full screen or make the upload screen wider so flying can simply click so this can happen um, if you have haven't your if you have a very small screen or you if you have a full screen then this can happen when flying sets the revenue um, and this so just to let you know most of you uh, uh, will never see it but some of you could encounter it and the solution is simply a bigger screen and yeah um, this is it so these are all the, the possible errors that can happen something wrong in your printful template in flying then yeah watch this video again and you will see it um, second of course a uh, too small screen and the third one the 504 red boss error from printful as i as i mentioned you will recognize it very quickly when you have it then simply click here fix and um yeah the problem should be solved this was it see you in the next one